Hey folks, this is a DIY music mini update. Um, just had an interesting repair project that I wanted to share with you. So these are MIDI bass pedals and um, made of two totally disparate components. One is actual uh, organ pedals off a like 60s Hammond organ. And then the other part is this brain, um, which is uh, called a Digikick. It was uh, a company that was making really great MIDI bass pedals on eBay really briefly. I don't think they're made anymore. Um, but they have some really cool features. Um, so you can dial in the velocity of the note that's being generated by the pedals. You can change MIDI channel uh, 1 through 16. Uh, you can do patch changes through MIDI CC. You can do octave selection and select multiple octaves. So you can get like a huge thick sound because you can play unisons across multiple octaves. Uh, I don't remember the maximum number, but like uh, you can get a pretty huge sound. It's pretty awesome. Um, and you just play one note and it plays automatically however many octaves you want of that. Um, and then this is an octave up button, which is real useful if you just find your too low and kind of gives you easy access to two octaves. This is only a one octave, uh, only one octave bass pedals. So this automatically just pops you up an octave. It gives you functionally two octaves to work with really easily. And then also transpose. I don't know exactly how you do that, but it also does that. And then this is by far the coolest feature, which is the hold button. And what that does is it basically turns the MIDI output from this to be monophonic and uh, perfectly smooth. So uh, it basically makes you play one note and then it just holds that note until you hit another note and then it kills the first note and starts the next one and it makes uh, your playing very smooth and slick sounding. It makes you sound way better than you actually are, which I certainly need uh, playing bass pedals. Um, so anyways, uh, really, really cool um, MIDI brain, um, excellent design. Wish these guys were still making stuff because it's really awesome. Another note about uh, conversion uh, kits for MIDI bass pedals. Uh, I had a Basin B A S Y N kit um, that shorted out on me um, just from normal soldering, um, and uh, I, the seller replaced it, and then that one shorted out on me before I even got it installed. Um, and uh, then he just sort of disappeared. Like, I don't know what happened with that situation. I never got my money back. Uh, I'm guessing he had just too many technical issues, uh, too many angry customers, didn't know what to do, so he just uh, moved to Mexico or something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but all I have to say, don't buy a basin kit. Um, you see one steer clear of it. Um, and this I have literally used, um, moved, uh, taken in and out of various enclosures. Uh, and it still works perfectly, so this is a really great product. So as far as the uh, actual problem that I had to solve with it, uh, once again, these are bass pedals off a of Hammond organ from like the 60s, so um, the components are really, really old. Um, and one of the most important components is this little guy right here. The, the contacts um, on these are little reed switches. So it's basically got a little lever, spring lever, um, that comes up and it touches and makes contact. And then when you let go of the button, when you let go of the um, pedal, it pushes it back down. And so that's what this does. This mechanically transfers the, when you press the, each note on the bass pedals, it pushes this up on the bottom, pushes those reeds up to make them make contact. And then when you let go, this, spring uh, the spring connected to the lever pushes this back down so this little guy um, is responsible for making the notes sound um, and these are really thin and brittle I'm not sure exactly what they're made of they feel kind of like circuit board material uh, and this part here where you got the narrow sides snaps real easy so um, I had one of these break on me um, early on when I first got these. And then um, I, I just moved, and these were like in the bottom of a box. <laughs> and uh, they had all come kind of come out of place, which I didn't realize. And so I had to kind of reseat all of them um, because I saw that they were popped up. Um, 
So I had to reseat them all. And uh, then once I did that, uh, well, I broke one of them in the process. And so, um, no fear if you break these, all you have to do is make a replacement. And I mean, it is as simple as it looks. Um, you basically find some, an equivalently thick material of some kind. This is literally plastic off the side of a uh, pickup cover off a strat, um, mint green. Um, and so uh, I just traced the busted one onto the side of the uh, pickup cover and then you just cut it out and uh, just shave and adjust until it fits in there and boom. So I mean I don't know if these things are hard to come across um, buying replacements out there or whatnot, but um, they're definitely super easy to make. Um, so should you ever be in a situation where you're dealing with um, these busted uh, lever switch thingies for uh, uh, Hammond organ pedals. Um, all you gotta do is just make your own replacements and that'll fix it right up. So that's it for this mini update. I just wanted to show you what I had been working on and yep, these now work just fine while well, they will once I put these back in. Um, so anyways, like, subscribe, share. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.